Hey, welcome back to Sleeping Cemeteries. Today we're at Mount Zion Cemetery in Du Bois County, Indiana. As you can probably tell, it's not the greatest day. It's either super windy or now it's raining. But we're still gonna check it out. It's pretty small. We've got a couple places I want to hit today. So uh, let's get the show on the road. First thing I want to highlight is over here is like the drive. And since it's a pretty moist day, I didn't want to get into that. And from the entrance here, this is the first pan. And that right there, that was it. As big as it is, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna start with this little group right over here in front of me. And then I'm gonna go over to the second side and work all the way back. So hopefully I'm in good enough frame here so you see what I'm talking about. But let's just start right here. All right. First stone here. Raylan May, 1993, not super old. Then across the front of this little fenced-in area, we have this older stone. Willie B. Ellis Sylvester Ellis and Minnie Ellis now inside this fence here I'll try to get some shots of what's in there um, you know what I'm sorry, but we're going to do this. All right, the first stone inside here. I'm not really sure. I can't point it out, but I'll definitely get it up on the find a grave. And there's also this, I believe, a child stone right there beside. And another child, an Ellis child. here what do we got what do we got what do we got another another child and then I'm not sure it's an Ellis and a mother and father Chester and Martha pretty cool all right folks on to back here now what I've noticed about this cemetery there's a lot of these like obelisk type Martha F and Loren I don't know Wow. William E. Griffith. Now, beside we have this marker, which I think this marker has MFB on it. Now we're going to move over this way to these beside the trees. Okay, the one that pokes out a little bit here, the two. We got a Jane Griffith. I can't say that last name very well. Obviously, I can't say very many last names well. And John. Ooh, it's a Garber stone. Missouri. Interesting. Missouri and Henry. Uh, now we're going to pan, and we're going to hit this obelisk right here. If you can see that, it's for Mary Griffith. So father and mother. So her husband must be on this opposite side. Uh, 
Uh, I believe it's Joan. Looks like Joan. Moss all over it. Heavy. All right. That's it for the first side. Now I'm going to move on to over here. Okay, over on this side, I'm going to try to do a right to left all the way back. And we'll start just right over here. All the original foot markers seem to be on this row, so I'll step in front of them. And this first little stone... Uh, no idea. Not one single idea. I'll have to try to see if I can look it up. We'll see what we can find out. Second stone in the row, I believe, is another Mary Corman. I have to look up. It's a bad day. It's raining. I can't see Sarah E. Garmin, not Corman. Garmin. Sarah E. Garmin. J. W. Garmin. Watch my step here. It's a veteran stone. It might belong to the stone here. Hiram B. Randolph and his wife. Margaret A. Randolph, it looks to be. And beside them, uh, it's probably a son. Looks to be Charles W. Randolph. <clears throat> Moving back over to my right. As last time, it looks like there's a lot of base markers. And I'll cut back to this last stone over here once I get to the last obelisk. And even that rock is just... Well, let's check them out now. Okay, this first little rock markers looks to just be either a marker part of maybe this flat rock here and then this other stone Mary J. Cox knee Collins no dates let's take a look she might judging from the flowers I would say she's not still with us but from the no dates. It's hard to say. Alright. Let's get back over to the obelisks. Now I'd like to note a lot of these first stones were facing towards the tree line there. But these obelisk stones are facing behind me. So this first one is Catherine J. Kemp. We've got something down here. A sleeping Jesus. Blessed sleep. From which none. I'll have to get it up. I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. Side Catherine is a Lieutenant W. E. Kemp. Probably her husband. Then this awesome, this is a beautiful stone. It's a shame it broke over. Elizabeth Garman. Corman? Gorman? That's definitely a G. Gorman. Sorry. But if you've been watching, that's typical of me, saying things wrong. Check this one out. 
another Kemp stone. Anna A. Kemp. Louisa J. Kemp. Thomas J. Kemp. Interesting. I believe that says Johnny. Yeah. Johnny Kemp. Interesting. Never seen like a young young man, young child. Only not quite ten. Then we have Edward A. Kemp. Remember friends as you pass by oh that's that creepy one. That's another one of those that says basically prepare to die at the end. Cool. Thanks Edward. I remember that. Ooh, I don't like that saying. It's creepy. Alright. Okay. okay, I'm here on the second to last row of this one. We got a Wesley Kemp. It's leaning kind of the, my direction. Ah, this one's cool. Marshall Kemp, another service member. Now I saw this one walking by. It's to a Lawrence W. Cooper. But check this out with the water and stuff. Like, look at that detail. Check that out. Anna Garber. She's got uh, a sleep in Jesus blessed sleep from which no one can wake something but man just check that out I love that detail and the, and the draping there that's really cool and a John W. Cooper that's wild. Two Coopers and a Garber. Hmm. Okay, from here it looks like the row ends. So, I'm going to head to that side and finish them out. Alright, the first stone here is a father and mother. Also, has a nice inscription um, let me just try to squeeze over here it belongs to a William Cooper William J Cooper on this side and his wife Margaret Cooper oh, what does this one say M a I'm not 100% sure but I'll be able to find that one for sure on find a grave but at the moment I'm not sure who that is right. now this one's on the opposite side here Another Cooper stone. Oh, this one's a Boonville stone. Interesting. Not Pell City like last time. Alright, now I gotta turn around. And we've got this little stone here. It's a Frederick Garber. 
1899. So I'm going to move back here real quick to this stone. Looks like an Oren Kemp and Catherine E. Kemp. I know William Kemp. Oh, wow. And a George E. Kemp. Wow, there's many people on this stone. If I'd looked at the dates, maybe I could figure it out a little bit better. But wow. But they're facing the woods. Very interesting. Now I'll turn to the last little bit here. Another service member here, Christian Garber. Oh, and this is his main stone here. Christian Garber and Sarah Garber, mother and father. Really cool. I like those red stones. Then we've got Sister Tilly Garber. And the last of the this plot here, we have a Griff, Griffin, Milton, and Carrie J. Check that work out in the middle there, though. That is really freaking cool. Now on to this very last stone over here. Looks to be also facing the trees. Um, no? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, wow. It's just so fine. I can see there's, this says died, born. Um, S-U, I believe, there. I'll have to take a look, I don't know. It's a cradled grave with the stones around the edge. Um, and stuff planted in it so that's really cool judging from the size I'd imagine it's a child maybe it's one of those no I would still classify this in the cemetery grounds so interesting okay so I'll do the last pan right above this stone the road right beside me Well, here I am back where I started. I usually pick out a really cool stone or something to check out, but since my equipment's set up and it's sprinkling, I'm going to end it right here. I hope you enjoyed this visit to Mount Zion Cemetery in Dubois County, Indiana. Cool little cemetery. Really unique. Maybe it had something to do with the religion with the obelisk stones. I don't know, but it was pretty cool. Hadn't seen that before as of yet. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this visit as much as I did, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.